Alright, well, there's a little rant video I'm going to put together here. A little rant! So I'm getting kind of ticked off on a few subjects. Okay, you saw my recent video, which I put up, uh, Cool Grabs 30. I could have had three other games for that. This is the first thing I'm pissed off about. Goodwill. Three brand spanking new looking Sega Saturn games. Yes, one was a sports game, one was Tomb Raider, one was something I never even heard of. I can't remember the name. Like, I don't own a Sega Saturn. I don't plan on getting a Sega Saturn, but I can use these games for trades with you guys out there on YouTube who watch my video. I can use these games for trade, or I can just sell them on eBay. Every single one was fucking stolen. I'm sorry, I'm going to swear, because it's fucking stupid. It was stolen. For one, these games probably looked mint. And now, because they were shoved down somebody's freaking crotch, they are probably scratched the crap anyways. But still, you... Steal. For one, they stole a sports game. I don't care if it's Sega Saturn, it's a rare system. It's a still a freaking sports game. It was like NBA 98 or something stupid. Anyways. Freaking thrift store stealers. How many of you out there want to freaking, if you run into them, you want to punch them in the nuts? Anyways, okay, and also I'm going to have to change my intro because now my free rare music that I put on there, I got off of a free rare site. Now it's freaking coming up as it's third party content. Okay, what? I thought free rare meant that, or, or, or um, not free rare, uh, what is it? 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 Public domain. I got off a public domain site I got that music from, and now it's suddenly not public domain? How does it go from not being public domain to being pub being public domain to not public domain? Either way, I'm going to have to redo the intro again. Maybe I can just change the music on it somehow. Unfortunately, I lost all the pictures I used in it, so it's actually, when I add that intro in, it's actually another video I'm <laughs> adding in with the, the main video. Hopefully I can go in there and change around the uh, song on that, or maybe take out the audio and then put in a different audio. I don't know. i got to figure that out yet. Um, but yeah. I don't understand that. Also, I mean, it's not really a rant, but I don't know if I want to know why, but... I don't know. Sometimes people dislike a video, or you like a video. I've never disliked. I... Actually, honestly, I very rarely like it, even though I do comment on the video. Even if I do comment on it, or and I watch it and I enjoyed it, I don't know, I just usually don't hit that like button. It never crosses my mind when I'm watching it to hit the like button or afterwards. <laughs> but, um, the dislikes are kind of funny. Especially when you see a video that is, like, completely, like, awesome. And then people dislike it. Sometimes I wonder why they dislike it, but then there's, th but then I also, I don't know if I'd want to know why people dislike. <laughs> I'll probably get dislikes here too. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, Thrift Store Steelers hit me again on three good video games. Yeah, they were three bucks a piece, but they were Sega Saturn games, and like they even saw the styrofoam thingies inside that went on top of the disc. So these things were like in mint, mint condition. The cases, no scratches, no nothing. Also, what is with thrift stores lately overpricing shit? I mean, eight dollars for well, I mean, I paid eight dollars for my Game Boy Color, but that was worth it. But I, I'm talking about like eight dollars for a Game Boy Advance game at a thrift store. It's like, really? Uh, the same place where I bought the Game Boy Color actually had a Atari Flashback 2 missing the plug-in, untested. They wanted fifteen dollars for it. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Been untested. I mean, it's not like it's a cartridge base. I mean, but anyways, uh, yeah. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, I just want to do a little rant. Get it on my system. Hopefully, you guys will comment. You know what? I want to see video responses on what you've come across that was stolen at a thrift store. Oh, sorry. One more thing. Watch your kids. I'm sick and tired of going to go... I pick up a box of something, be it a board game or a puzzle or something. Look it through it. Oh, hey, it's missing a part. There's the kid down the freaking aisle playing with the part from that freaking board game like a toy. 
Where's the parents? Nowhere to be freaking seen. Keep your kids in line if you're in the store. I don't have kids, but I know I would freaking do that. I don't care if they're screaming and crying. I can handle that. But when you're just off somewhere else and letting them play in the toy aisle, the toy aisle is not a babysitter for your kid. Keep them in this freaking cart or whatever. Just stop playing with the freaking toys and breaking them for the people that do collect them or do want to buy them. Or stop taking out the parts and moving them all over the entire freaking store. Eh, it's a... I mean, I know it's hard to police that, but... Actually, the... Not Goodwill, uh, what is it? St. Vincent de Paul here will actually... In Spanish and English... Will actually announce over there, Please keep your kids... Please stay with your kids, because... They don't want kids doing that there, so if they see a kid without their parents, the parents actually, they find the parent, and then they get extra, they get kicked out of the store, actually. So, okay, so, that's my rant. Video response if you want, that'd be really enjoyed. I'm saying I didn't get any for my contest. Your thoughts on thrift store stealing, thrift store kids running around, doing whatever they want, and their parents are off somewhere else. Rip it open the bags, you know, and like Goodwill and them have the bags of toys. Well, okay, they want to play with that one toy over there, nobody's watching, so they rip it open. And then now we can't buy it. Or another kid that wanted to buy it can buy it, or if you want to buy it for somebody else's kid. Anyways, uh. So yeah, leave a video response. Cross Brothers out.